So in this video I'm going to teach you how to do the millstone stitch, sometimes called the brick stitch because of the pattern being staggered with the sort of brick effect going up the wall if you like. Either way, really lovely stitch to use. I've used a variegated coloured yarn so throughout my piece of work these middle sections, brick sections are going to change colour and I've used a continuous colour in between for sort of if you like the mortar between the bricks. So let's find out how to do the stitch. Hello my name is Karen Stangroom and welcome to Conquer Crochet, the channel for tips, tricks and techniques for conquering your crochet. Everything I talk about in today's video will be linked in the descriptions below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss a single stitch. So if you're keen to get going with this video, give me a thumbs up and let's do this. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use two different makes of yarn. Uh, this one is the Double Knit Aldi So Crafty yarn in white. And this one is the Knitting Essentials Double Knitting uh, in pastels from Poundland I think it was and they do a special offer you get three of these for the price of two so you get three balls of yarn for two pounds which is a pretty good deal. I'm also going to be using my four millimeter crochet hook uh, depending on what yarn you're using have a look on your yarn label and see what size hook it recommends this one recommends using a four millimeter hook um, which is what I would normally use with a double knit anyway. I have my scissors cutting off my end and I have a yarn needle for sewing in my ends. So I'm going to start off with the white. Now I don't normally crochet with white on video because I find it doesn't really show up very well because I have the white background. Uh, but I think it would look really nice with this pastel yarn so I am going to use the white for today. So I'm going to start off by making a slip knot. And then we're going to crochet our foundation chain. We're going to do that in multiples of 10. So one, whoops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So go ahead and pause the video whilst you make your foundation row. So I have my multiples of 10 and I have 30 here. I'm now going to chain two, one, two. There are turning chains and I'm going to make a row of double crochets now. So I'm going to do that in the second chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook. So one, two. I'm going to insert, yarn over, pull through. Got two loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through both of those loops. So insert, yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through both of those loops. And we're going to do that all the way down our foundation chain. So pause the video now whilst you do your foundation row of double crochets into your foundation chain. So I've come to the end of my row of double crochets. I'm chaining one and I'm going to cut off my yarn. And I'm going to turn my work, move the white aside for now and I'm going to pick up my other yarn, my second choice of yarn. Now I've chosen to use a variegated yarn. You can use just any ordinary coloured yarn, a uh, plain single colour if you want to. So I have made a slip knot. You can change colour in whichever way you prefer. So I am going to attach my yarn to the loop and I'm going to chain one. Now that chain one counts as a stitch so we're not going to crochet into this stitch we're going to crochet into the second chain along. You just hold that up so we're not going to go into this one we're going into this one here and we're going to start making the pattern for the millstone. So we, to do that we do a double crochet, so remember this is UK terminology in US, that's single crochet. So I'm going to make a double crochet, then I'm going to do a half treble in UK, which is a half double in US. 
Then we're going to do five individual trebles going along, and that's double in the US. So five trebles, so you yarn over, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. So we have an increase, we start off with a small stitch and it gets bigger, levels out. Now we're going to decrease that, so we're going to do a half treble, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over through all three loops. Then we're going to do a double. So that's the first part of the pattern. We chain one, we skip a stitch, so I'm going to skip this one here, and I'm going to repeat that pattern starting in the next stitch. So I'm going to do a double, a half treble, then five individual trebles. Oops, one, two, three, four, some yarn, and five. Then a half treble because we're reducing again, and then the double. Chain one, skip the stitch, double crochet. Half treble, five individual trebles in the next five stitches, so one and two, three, four, and five, then a half treble. and then a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and continue with that pattern. Double crochet, half treble, five trebles, half treble, double crochet, all the way along your piece of work and I will meet you at the end of this row. So when you get to the end of your row, you'd normally chain one and you would skip that stitch, but no, we're actually going to go into that stitch with a double crochet, just so that we get a nice edge along our work. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. That chain counts, so we're not going to work into that first stitch. We're going to work into the second stitch. In exactly the same way, we're going to double crochet we're going to half treble into the top of the half treble. We're going to do our five double crochet, uh, five trebles into the top of the five trebles from the previous row. Three, four, and And five, sorry I got thrown a bit then because my yarn changed colour. Half treble and a double. Chain one, skip a stitch, which is the skip stitch that we missed before. Double crochet, half treble, five trebles. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Then a half treble, and then the double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, and start again. So continue going down your row in the same way and you'll find that you've got these sort of 
or sort of leaf shapes, nice little oval shapes that you can see building up our millstone pattern. So continue with the same pattern of double crochet, half treble, five trebles, half treble, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch all the way down your row and I will meet you at the end of this row. So I'm just coming up to the end of my row here. So I've done my double, half, one, two, three, four, five trebles. Need to do my half, my double, and just because it's the end of the row, we're not chaining one, we're just going to go through and do a double crochet in that chain one, which is easier said than done. There we go. So it's two rows of the second colour, chain and pull your yarn and cut off your ends. So we're now going to turn our work and I'm going to reattach colour one, so just move that one out of the way. So I'm going to reattach in the way I prefer to do it, you can do it in whichever way you prefer. I like to make a slip knot, insert my hook through the stitch it needs to join onto, pull that slip knot through, yarn over, pull through and that counts as my first chain. So attach as you need to and chain one. That chain one counts as a stitch so we're now going to work into the second chain long. So we're going into this one here. And we're going to do nine double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Our next stitch is going to be a treble stitch and we're going to do that treble three rows down. So if I miss the pink, miss the orange and it's going into the white of that skipped stitch that we missed. So when we were doing the orange row we skipped a stitch so I'm going to yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch and come out the other side, so don't go behind the work. Yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So we don't work into that chain now, we go on to the next stitch because that's that chain is hidden behind our treble that we've just made. And we're going to do nine double crochets. So that's one. and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and nine. Then we're going to do our treble again into that white row so yarn over, insert into the stitch but come out on the front, yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, skip that chain stitch and do our nine again. So continue on in the same way, so doing your nine double crochets, remember that single crochet in US terminology, then we're going to do a treble into that skipped space into that skip stitch from the first white row that we had. So pause the video now whilst you finish your row. So I'm just coming up to the end here and annoyingly I had a big knot in my yarn so I've cut it and tied it together so I can sew these ends in later on rather than having the tiny little frayed bit that I had. It sometimes leaves a bit of a, a bobble. So uh, where have I got to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. And then I need to crochet into the one chain at the end just to make sure that that's nice and neat on the edge. So for the next row then I'm going to chain one. So we're going to do two rows of the white. So that chain one counts as a stitch so we're going to work into the top of the next stitch with a double crochet and we're just going to double crochet all the way down that row which gives us an, a nice sort of thick line going through our coloured sections. So we double crochet over the top of the pattern and over the top of the treble that we did in the previous row. So pause the video now whilst you make your double crochets all the way along this row. So I've got to the end of my row, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to turn my work over and I'm going to start with the coloured pattern again. So to do that I'm going to pop my hook into that first stitch. I'm going to make my slip knot and I'm going to pull my yarn through. Now for this row we're going to do that sort of block effect, sort of the staggered bricks, brickwork if you like. So what we need to do is to chain three, one, two, three, and that three chain is going to count as a treble. So then we're going to do two more trebles. So one and two. Then we do our half treble and we do our double crochet. We chain one, we skip the next stitch and we work a double in the following stitch. And then this starts our repeated pattern of the double, the half treble, and then five trebles. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we do our half treble and our double. We chain one, we skip a stitch and we start the pattern again. So continue in the same way till you get to the end of the row and I will meet you at the end of this row. So the next row again is going to be slightly different in the way we start. So we're going to chain three, that's going to act as a treble, we're going to turn. Because it acts as a treble we're not going into that first stitch. So we're going to go into the second stitch with another treble. So if you remember we finished the previous row with two trebles. So these are the two trebles that correspond to those. Then we do a half treble, then our double, chain one, skip a stitch. So then our repeated pattern begins again with our double, our half treble, and then five individual trebles. One, two, three, four, and five. Then our half treble, and our double. Chain one, skip a stitch. And we're gonna continue in this way all the way down the row. So I'll join you at the end of this row. So I'm coming up to the end of this row. So I'm going to do a double, 
half treble and then we need to do three trebles. Remember we started off the row with two so we need to finish off with three. If I can go through the right stitches, go on. Right, so that's one, two, and then in the top of that three chain. And these are really tricky to get through sometimes. You just have to waggle your hook through. So you can see how the pattern is slightly staggered now. So we've got one here, one here, so the next one will be here and that will stagger all the way up. So we're going to finish off this row by yarning over and pulling through. And to turn our work and we'll reattach the white. So I'm going to reconnect my white. And again this will change slightly from the previous row. So join your yarn whichever way you prefer and chain one. That chain counts as a double crochet. So here we started and we did nine double crochets. This time we're going to do four. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do our treble into that missing stitch there where we skip to stitch. So make sure you go through the stitch but come out through the front of your work. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. We don't work into the chain stitch. We now do our nine double crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that's really starting to make the block stand out more. So I say this is called mill stitch or millstone stitch but it's equally sometimes called brick stitch as well. So it's a brick pattern because of the staggering of the pattern. Okay, we're now going to do our treble and then we'll do another nine. So continue all the way down till you get to your last little bit here and I will join you at the end to show you what we need to do there. So I'm coming up to this last bit, so I'm going to do my treble into that missed stitch and then one, two, three and then the fourth one into the top of that three chain, four. I'm going to chain one going to turn our work. Chain one counts as a stitch so we don't work into that first stitch and we're going to double crochet all the way along that row. So essentially we have a pattern where we have our double crochet half treble, five trebles, half treble, five trebles, chain, skip a stitch and we do that for two rows. Then we have a row of double crochets and if I show you on this side, double crochets with the treble going into that skipped stitch and then we have a row of double crochets and then the next row is slightly staggered. So we do four double crochets, then we do our long treble stitch then we do our nine doubles and then the treble and the pattern continues to the end where we have our four stitches at the end. So we've got five here, so the one that's the chain and the four plus the four at the end that gives us the nine which equates to the nine that you would have done here but remember these are sort of two half stitches. Then you do another row of double trebles. 
and that's essentially the pattern all the way through. I'm just going to work up a few more rows so you can see how it looks with a bit more colour involved in it. So there you have the millstone stitch, sometimes known as the brickwork stitch because you have that staggered brick effect. So we work in patterns, uh, rows of two within the pattern, so what you'll find is all of your ends will end up on the same side. One thing to remember, as I've said all the way through, make sure you're going into that last chain, otherwise you're not going to get a straight stitch along your edge. So that's how to do the millstone stitch. I really hope you found today's tutorial useful. If there are any information that you need to find out about this video, have a look in the descriptions below where I post all the links to any freebies and other videos I think you might find useful. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed this video, to give me a thumbs up below. Don't forget also to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you've enjoyed it and you'd like to see more of my tutorial videos. There are two other videos on screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!